Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 16th, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, giving a world update on space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and anything else affecting humanity. Looking at our sun today, large plasma filament develop making on the northwest limb of the sun and as well earth facing sunspot very small at that small b class solar flare shot from it earlier today and as well the plasma here on the right hand side there watch on another light you're going to see that formed two very large solar tor tornadoes so twin solar tornadoes on the sun today looking at outgoing images here last 48 hours and here's the imagery of the large plasma filament developing and as well it is developing on the southwest corner of the sun so watch for plasma filament eruption over this next little while let's hope that they stay stuck to the sun having a look here at another light no coronal holes to talk about looking at multi-spectrum here you can really see those twin solar tornadoes spinning here amazing imagery literally they're about the four times the size of earth now this is sped up just so you know quick show of our amazing sun Looking at Lasco 2 and 3, showing no major sun events, except for a small CME blasting away from the left side there. And on the east-west spiral, you can see here it was directed right at Soho. And as well, Bepi. Looking at a real-time solar wind, sitting at about 460 kilometers per second. Pretty jagged solar wind stream today, and a low density. But no major space weather events to talk about. Geomagnetic activity remains low, and solar X-ray flux was slightly bumped up today to B class. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, healthy power of 39. Or sorry, a healthy power of 30 quality of 10 looking here the last 24 hours for earthquakes we're going to start out at our very active south sandwich islands yet again early today a 6.9 a rang out 13 kilometer depth and many aftershocks throughout the region continuing that has been continuing all week some duck subducting all week looking through south america here 4.5 chile southern chile and as well, northern Chile with a 5.0, 4.2 there, Bolivia from yesterday, 4.6, Peru, 50 kilometer depth, and as well a 4.5 here in Panama, 4.4, Haiti, more southeast on the island from where that large earthquake was yesterday, as well, Dominican Republic seeing a 3.6, largest today, not many earthquakes through the region. North American plate, minor earthquakes across the North American plate from Oklahoma up into Washington. Nothing major to talk about, though. 3.1 there, largest to report Hawaii. Alaska, seeing a minor earthquakes continue through Chignac. Largest through the region was a 4.4, or sorry, 4.1. And then a pretty rare earthquake here, 4.3, North Korea. 549 kilometer depth very deep and it's a bit concern a bit concerning there is a very large dormant volcano just north of there and as well just south of this 5.0 in russia so heads up korea you could have a big event on your hands as well 5.0 here to report indian plate as well a small earthquake here to report 3.3 in South Africa, Nikowakawa, Nikowakawa, 3.3 at a 5 kilometer depth. 
as well. Only earthquake here to report. The southwestern ring of fire, 151 kilometer depth, 5.1 uh, Solomon Islands, or Vanuatu, I mean, Tajikistan with a 4.5, as well Armenia with a 5.0, Greece with a 4.3, and then 4.6 here reported in Petrinja, Croatia at a 10 kilometer depth, as well just northwest there, Austria reporting a 3.8. So activity bouncing up into Europe right now and very quiet across the southwestern ring of fire, southeastern ring of fire just booming down there at the South Sandwich Islands. Looking here, the last seven days, we've seen some sizable earthquakes. The last seven days, Alaska with the large 8.2 and as well as 6.9 this week, 7.2 there, Jamaica, 6.9 there, Philippines. A very active week, to say the least. Not surprising, though, considering I did put out some earthquake warning videos as we were going through the Jupiter retrograde. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing you the most recent volcanoes getting updated. And just today, we're looking at Simaru in Indonesia as well as Shevelich and Russia. Looking at about 184 active hazards across this app. Merapi in Indonesia. Ibu in Indonesia. Many, many fires. Wow. Popo in Mexico. Nevados de Ruiz in Colombia. Reventador in Ecuador. Fuego, Guatemala. Sabancaya, Peru. Karamiski, Russia. Semesnapochnoi. Nevada's to Chilean. Wow, very busy day. And as well, Suez and Najima. So about 15 volcanoes getting updated today. And as well, tsunami watches went out with the large 6.9 earthquake from the South Sandwich Islands. But no tsunami was imminent. But the watches did go out to the Caribbean. And as well, South Sandwich Islands, Georgia Strait. It's a very interesting situation to say the least. We also do have tropical storms to talk about. We have Tropical Storm Henry, most likely fizzling and heading towards Europe. Tropical Depression Grace, who will remain just a tropical depression with lots of rain. And then we have a strongest hurricane on the planet, Linda, who is heading west towards Hawaii. Tropical Depression 16 is alive and is going to be heading towards Taiwan and China in the long range forecast, most likely as a category three typhoon many fires are still breaking out and burning across northern california washington and as well oregon so stay safe the air quality is really really poor across north america right now and i can just imagine what it's like down here in california and up into washington because NASA Worldview is showing some very intense smoke. Seeing it from satellite imagery is crazy. Let's have a look. So this is the 14th, 15th, and then into the 16th. Big low pressure system getting ready to sweep across the nation and as well bring lots of moisture. So. Hopefully a little bit of relief for California. Look at the size of that system that is heading into the Hudson Bay. As well, observing a very large dust storm coming off of Africa. I saw a few videos, very strong gusts of wind with that dust storm as well. A big one here in the center of Africa is going to be heading westward as well. We do have tropical depressions forming just underneath of that. Looking here, satellite imagery over the fires in Northern California. And you can see there was a very large fire here towards Redding and the Red Bluff, California. Looks like that one just broke out recently. Very thick plumes of smoke as well another one just northwest of there a 
Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by MediaWorth and as well daily events worldwide. See if there's any kind of relief coming. And there is, as forecasted two days ago. But let's have a look now with this five-day forecast. We're going to start out here in Calgary, Alberta, home base, where, yeah, the rain has moved in. It's very light right now, but we're looking to get about 20 to 40 millimeters of rain and as well some pretty strong northerlies after this system heads southward. We have a Colorado low developing as well. Wednesday into Thursday, heading north into Canada. Going to bring some extreme weather eastward. You can see a lot of warm air trapped up in there. Tropical depression grace. Or sorry, that's uh, Fred. Tropical depression Fred. We also have Grace who's going to be heading into the Gulf of Mexico in the long range forecast. Heading straight over uh, Guatemala. As well, we have Tropical Depression Henry there spinning in the West Atlantic and most likely in the long range will be heading towards Europe. And then yet another Tropical Depression forming in the long range forecast, most likely here off the coast of Africa. Big low pressure center spinning here through parts of northern Europe. Going to cool things down dramatically across northern parts of Europe. Some intense low pressure systems spinning through Greenland as well. Long range forecast could see a doozy of a storm heading towards Iceland. Overlooking Russia. Northerly low coming in there, bringing in some snow to parts of northern China and southern Russia. Daily evaporation rains through the equator. One low pressure system there to talk about through India. Daily evaporation through most of Malaysia and into Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. Overlooking Australia. Spotty showers all across the southern part of the continent, apparently. Thanks, Paul, for the heads up. As we we weren't really for I wasn't really forecasting much rain, but there must be some massive clouds and moisture coming from those big lows just south of you. Overlooking New Zealand, pretty wet week ahead of you. And then overlooking Hawaii here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Watch for Tropical Storm, or sorry, Hurricane Linda to head just north of Hawaii. We'll see if that high pressure ridge moves it any further south. Hopefully it doesn't go on track to Hawaii. But still no relief along the coastline there. California, no rain in sight. Only through higher elevations. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains. Little low pressure system here developing later in the week. Other than that, parts of southern Argentina are going to be receiving three low pressure systems this week. One, two, and then three. And then Africa, no major weather events to talk about except for the spinning low pressure system you can see there in the middle of the Congo. Going to bring daily evaporation rains. I'll leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out all of the major systems that are spinning across our planet. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in to The Daily Do. Much love. Don't forget to smash that like button. Appreciate you tuning in. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.